Hello everybody, this is my Tesla coil. It's me. Uh, I don't have a toroid on my Tesla coil like I should. There's the toroid I made, but it doesn't work very well because it's all crinkly. They need to be smooth. So, that's not working. So I have this light bulb. Uh, this is just a regular light bulb. I think it's actually filled with uh, argon or nitrogen gas or something because um, it has this interesting property of being able to be used as a plasma ball, which is cool. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Anyway, there's the top. It connects. There's the actual coil. That's a thousand turns of 30 gauge wire. And this is my primary. That's a quarter inch copper refrigerator tubing. Uh, spark gap and capacitors. There's the flyback from the television, the flyback driver, power supply, and this is what it does. There's the plasma ball, and just like a plasma ball, except a little bit cooler because the electricity comes out of the glass. So, I made a plasma ball. Now, the cool thing about it is the frequency is so high that I can't feel this electricity. But I can actually adjust that with the spark gap. If I turn this off, shorten the spark gap so it doesn't kill me. And then I make it a little bit bigger, about like that. Turn it back on. Now, I dare not touch it, so I'm going to use the discharge stick. There's the lightning I'm getting off of it. Oh no. See, that's bad. Don't want the primary, uh, primary hitting the secondary is bad news. I'm going to fry the flyback. So I'm going to set the spark gap back to about where it was, turn it back on, and then here it is in the dark. Ow. Yeah, the frequency is a little bit too low right now for me to be touching it with my hand, but I'm going to do it anyway. Ow. 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 But yeah, it's pretty cool. So yep, there's my Tesla coil. Hooray!